a lump in your throat, pain in your chest, a chronic cough. These are just some of the unexpected symptoms associated with gastroesophageal reflux disease, otherwise known as GERD. However, it's most often characterized by frequent and persistent heartburn that occurs two or more days a week. The damage caused by GERD is not only painful, but if left untreated, can lead to serious long-term complications. Dr. David Armstrong is a gastroenterologist with McMaster University Medical Center in Hamilton, Ontario. At least 60% of patients with reflux symptoms, that is heartburn or regurgitation, will wait at least six months before they consult a physician about their symptoms. And I think one of the major reasons for this is that patients blame themselves. If GERD is left untreated, about half of the people with reflux disease will develop uh, injuries or areas of inflammation in the esophagus. At least half of the people who are taking prescription medication for their heartburn will continue to get symptoms. It's important that they understand that they don't have to continue suffering from their heartburn symptoms. There are other treatments that are available. Health Canada has now approved Dexalant, a novel protein pump inhibitor, which is the first and only treatment with dual delayed release technology for the treatment of GERD that provides once daily treatment, improving and sustained symptom relief and healing for patients for a full 24 hours. Dexalant is unique because it has a new formulation, what is called a dual delayed release. And what is different about uh, Dexalant as a new PPI is that it has the early initial release like the other proton pump inhibitors so that uh, the medication is taken up into the bloodstream. But there is a second delayed release which means that more drug is then taken up later on so that it prolongs the effect of the drug and increases the duration of acid suppression. According to a national survey of GERD patients, 74% of those who had spoken to a doctor about their symptoms were given a diagnosis. And of that, 66% were diagnosed with either GERD or acid reflux. 55% of those surveyed indicated that GERD impacts their sleep patterns and less than 20% of respondents, 15%, were aware that GERD could lead to serious long-term effects if left untreated. We know that at least 50% of patients who are taking prescription medication for their reflux disease will continue to have symptoms. Because there are now new medications for gastroesophageal reflux disease, it's really important that patients who are still having symptoms talk to their physician because there is the option to change therapy, to have additional advice about lifestyle that will improve their quality of life. Gail Atara, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Gastrointestinal Society, explains the impact GERD can have on a person's quality of life. The symptoms of GERD can include heartburn, probably daily, and regurgitation of food, so much so that it can interfere with the things that you do during the day. And when it carries on into the evening and into the night, you can't sleep properly, so the next day it interferes with your complete ability to work and play. GERD patients react differently to different medications. Having a new medication on the market that delivers that drug in a slightly different way from what's currently going on could help some patients receive symptom relief that they don't have now. For more information about gastroesophageal reflux disease and treatment options, speak with your doctor or health care provider.